Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about arcs and angles and how they're related and how these arcs and uh, angles are formed by intersecting chords, secants, and tangents. Now, one of the things that we have to remember, when chords, secants, and tangents intersect in a circle, they can intersect on a circle, inside a circle, or outside a circle. Okay. When they intersect inside a circle, that'd be figure one. They intersect on a circle, that'd be figure two. They intersect outside the circle, that'd be figure three. Now, what I'm going to be talking about today is figure one and figure two. The next video, we'll talk about figure three when they intersect outside the circle. <coughs> now, if two secants or chords intersect inside a circle, then the measure of the angle is formed, the angle formed is equal to half the sum of the measures of the intercepted arc. Now, if they intersect inside the circle, you're going to add. Okay, so the measure of angle one is going to be one half the measure of arc AD plus the measure of arc BC. Okay, so measure of arc AD plus the measure of arc AB, that is the measure of angle one. The measure of angle two will be one half the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc CD. Okay, that's where that comes from there. <clears throat> so, if we take a look at number one, okay, we're going to find the measure of angle AED. This angle right here. So, the measure of angle AED will be one half of 45 plus 109. Now 45 plus 109. 45 plus 109 is 154. I'm going to divide that by 2. <clears throat> I'll get 77. Now I'm going to look at YWX. Okay. <clears throat> now I don't know anything else about the arcs on number three. I don't know anything about those arcs. However, I do know that if I use 43 and 81, I can find this angle right here. So one half of 43 plus 81. 43 plus 81 is 124. <clears throat> I'm going to divide that by 2. So that angle up here will be 62 degrees. To find the angle that I'm looking for, the measure of angle YWX, that will be 180 minus 62. Oops, let's try it again which would be 118 degrees. <clears throat> now, in the next problem, number five, we're going to take a look at number five. Okay. We're going to find the measure of arc CDE. That is this arc right here. Okay. The measure of arc CDE is what we're looking for here. So 128 degrees, the angle, is going to be one-half the measure of 73 degrees plus x. We're going to call this x right now as a variable, just a placeholder, so we don't have to keep writing measure of arc CDE. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. 128 times 2 is 256. That will equal 73 plus x. Subtract 73 from 256. You should get 183. Okay, and that is what we are looking for there. So we just got done talking about when the secants intersect inside the circle. Now we're going to talk about when a secant and a tangent intersect at a point of tangency on the circle. Okay. 
Now, if you think about it, angle one and angle two, those are simply inscribed angles. Okay, so the measure of angle one, that is going to be one half the measure of arc AB. So just like inscribed angles, okay, is going to be one half the measure of arc AB. Measure of angle two is going to be one half the measure of arc ACB. So from right here to here. Okay, that's where that comes from. Okay, so if I take a look at number seven, we're looking for this angle here, DEG. Measure of arc angle DEG is going to be one half, 308 degrees. So if I take one half of 308, I'm going to get 154 degrees. Okay. Now, if I take a look, I want to find the measure of arc XY because it's two letters. I know it's going to be this one and not all the way around. However, I do know that this arc out here will be twice 151. So I know that arc is 302. So if I take the measure of arc XY, or sorry, the measure of arc XZY will be twice 151 or 302 degrees. That's what we just found there. Okay. If I take the measure, I now need to find the measure of arc XY, that'll be 360 minus 302 which would be 58 degrees, okay? Now, if you all have any other questions on any of these problems, just let me know. Um, I'll be available on Google Meets, generally from 10 to 11 every single day. If you all have questions, please let me know. Um, I hope everyone is doing very, very well. Tomorrow's video will cover the exterior intersections, we have two secants, a secant and a tangent, and two tangents. It's not hard. I've included the notes on your Google Classroom page, um, so you guys can have those ahead of time. I'm going to be using those in the next few videos. Have a great day.